ready with me as we talk about this white girl's experience dating black guys. It all started when I was 12 years old <laughs> in seventh grade and I just fell for Nathan McCoy. He was so cute. He was black. Not only was he so cute, he was so kind. His dad was a pastor and he was just the sweetest thing. And I fell head over heels. I was in a school that had more black people than I had ever been to before or ever seen in one place. Cause I was a poor white country girl living in a trailer out in the country. This took place in Mardella, Maryland. My older sister was 13 years old at the time. And she also had a boyfriend who was black. My mama was dating a man fresh out of jail who was 10 years younger than her. So I think he was like 25 and I was 12. And he just got out of prison. My mom met him in prison because she did prison ministry. And he moved in with us. And he was an asshole. He was a racist MFR. I hadn't really been taught racism. So I didn't see what the big deal was. It was Valentine's Day. My sister and I both came home from school with roses from our boyfriends. This man said something extremely racist and derogatory. I was 12 and five foot tall and I talked back to him. I don't remember what I said, but the next thing I know, he had me by my throat and threw me all the way across the room until I hit the wall and slid down and like went unconscious for a minute. My 13 year old redheaded sister was not having that. <laughs> she is a fierce warrior, her, she is. Despite the fact that this man was a full grown man who just got out of jail, my sister whooped his ass. She jumped on top of him, took him to the ground and didn't stop punching. My mama is a big woman. It took all her body weight to push my sister off of him. She had to literally sit on my sister to stop my sister from tearing this man up more. I don't condone violence, but he deserved it. And today's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I think it's just appropriate for me to talk about how far we've come and how far we still have to go for racial equality. Anyway, my sister tore this man up. Nobody called the police, which is crazy. We had the choice to either respect and obey our stepdad or leave. So me and my sister left. We moved in with our dad and stepmother, which just was going from one abusive home to another. A year later, my stepdad tried to kill my mom and went to jail for three years. And then a year after that, I saw him in church one day with two little mixed babies of his own. So I guess he came around. <laughs> Senior year in high school, I was president of the student government. And in my school, if you're president of the student government, you got to walk out first in the grand march for prom where all the parents come in and watch. I don't know if other schools do that, but that's what we did. I was still a really good girl. I was just always really focused on my grades, my extracurricular activities, working and getting the hell out and going to college. There was a guy in the grade under me. His name was Cache, and he was also the sweetest guy and he was black. And I asked him to go to prom with me. And let me tell you when the town found out. So my graduating class was 66 people. So we're talking about a really small town. And when people found out that I was going to prom with a black boy, because I was also captain of the cheerleading squad. I was the town's fire prevention queen and the state's fire prevention queen. I liked pageants. The fire department called me, said that they did not approve with me representing them and walking in the Grand March with a black guy. This is 1995, friends. The principal called me into his office and told me he did not approve. My drunk uncle called me one night and called me lots of choice words and threatened my life. And I got a lot of lovely notes stuck into my locker from the boys in my class calling me choice names. You know what all that said to me? I must be doing something right. <laughs> now listen, I date all ethnicities. So it's not like... I only dated black men or I only dated white men or so you know what your girl did? Your girl took him to prom. I did not understand how people could be so racist when these boys were so kind and sweet. So I went to prom with Cache and we had a lovely time and nothing bad happened to either one of us. So thank God. 
I was living back with my mom at that time. She had grown a lot herself. So at that point, she was okay with it. Now she's got mixed grandbabies and they're the cutest. So then I went to college at Liberty University and got my degree in biblical studies. Prophet told me I had to marry this white kid in my church and I did for 20 years. We separated and got divorced about four years ago. I was excited to taste the rainbow. I was a good Christian girl and I didn't have sex until I was married. So, so I started dating this black guy. Among others, he was a short king and he was a life coach and fantastic. And just, we saw each other for like a month. I was never intimate with him. I tried, but he always had something going on. Turns out he was married. Total lame move on his part. So now I have four teenagers. They can date whoever they want. I love seeing how far we've come. And I know that oppression still exists and racism still exists, but I'm just so proud to see this in my lifetime. Not only can my kids date someone from another ethnicity and color, they can date someone with another gender, with the same gender, who identify as something else, a different gender, no gender at all. It just feels great to be free. Let freedom ring, freedom ring. I appreciate all of the people who came before me to allow us freedoms. It started a long time ago and I'm just so grateful for everything that Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about in 2023. You can date who you wanna date, marry who you wanna marry, love who you wanna love. Hell, I sat next to a lesbian at a rugby game a week ago and I started to think, I mean, maybe. Why do we put limits on love? Love whoever you want. <laughs> I mean, unless they're married. They're off limits if they're married. Other than that, have fun, friends. And happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day.